What's up everyone, this is Jam Sensei and I'm reviewing games based on the Sengoku period, which in Japanese is called the Sengoku Jidai. Today I'll be reviewing an arcade game named Vassara 2, which is a prequel to Vassara, a game I previously reviewed. In Vassara 2, you face Oda Nobunaga, the most famous and controversial figure of the Sengoku period. He is the main character of the Sengoku history as his quest of conquering Japan is one of the most dramatic stories you find in a history book. Nobunaga took down everyone that was in his path, and many met a brutal death. There are four playable characters, and all of them have a history with Nobunaga. Takeda Nobukatsu was the son of Takeda Katsuyori, who was the leader of the Takeda clan. However, he never got the chance to shine, as when he was 16, the Takeda clan was eliminated by Nobunaga. Nobukatsu and Katsuyori both took their own lives after being cornered by Nobunaga's men. A sad story and things doesn't get any better even in the game as he is the weakest character in Vassara 2. Momochi Sandayu was a ninja who led the Iga ninjas. Nobunaga regarded the Iga ninjas as a threat and sent an army to wipe them out. Sandayu defeated Nobunaga's army once but not twice and was killed in battle. Seiryubo is a monk who later in the game is revealed to be Tenkai, advisor of Tokugawa Ies. Tenkai contributes greatly in opening the Tokugawa era. Akechi Mitsuhide was one of Nobunaga's most talented generals and brought many victories to the older clan. However, he suddenly betrayed Nobunaga and brought a dramatic twist to the Sengoku history. Mitsuhide later dies in battle, but some say he survived and started a new life as a monk named Tenkai. Finally, there is a hidden character. If you insert this command at the title screen, Saiga Magoichi, who appeared in the previous game, can also be selected. As for the gameplay, there are some changes compared to Vassara. First, the Vassara attack has been combined with the special attack. When you press the special attack button, instead of a bomb attack, the Vassara attack is released. Also, there are now three Vassara gauge stocks, and these can be filled up by obtaining blue crystals dropped by enemy units. As for enemy units, the number of boss units have increased greatly as there are now five boss units per stage, all with base illustrations. There is a change that increases the difficulty of the game, as now enemy units shoot a purple bullet which cannot be erased by the melee attack. Finally, you can choose between easy mode and hard mode. The easy mode has 6 stages, while the hard mode has 12. However, the ending you meet after clearing the 6th stage in the easy mode is not the true ending. You have to clear the hard mode to see the true ending. In the hard mode, after clearing the 6th stage, you start over from stage 1 again. The only difference is, the game gets much harder as even normal enemy units shoot purple bullets. You face Nobunaga at the 6th and 12th stage. When you defeat Nobunaga at the 12th stage, he revives one more time. Shoot him down one last time and you meet the true ending. Just like the previous game, each character has their own ending, which gives a reason to clear the game multiple times. And that just about wraps up Vassara 2. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave a comment, make sure to press the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.